the thumbnails, pour one out for the original recording. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron forgot to turn the fucking video on. I know. Another Pour one out shabby. for the original recording of this video. It was so good. It, it's in heaven it was, with Harambe. It was organic. Yes, it worked well. Yes, it is. Now we have to do it again. Fuck. All right. Just keep wrecking oh, guns off. Oh, no. You knew. That was our favorite thing again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Should I go get my D3CRX out of the car? Or? I could go get mine since it's in our game. Yeah, why don't, so we have all the variants here. Just all right, you literally on. have them? What's up, guys? Welcome back to Gun Gamers. I'm Garrett. I'm Joe. And we're here to talk about these three chest rigs. As you can see, they are all variations of the Haley Strategic D3CR. I personally own all three of these, although Joe does have an original one as well. So he's here to chime in on a couple of things while we talk about this one specifically. This is a D3CRH, H standing for heavy. It's designed originally around for 762 NATO mags, so the pouches in the top are a little bit wider. It's also got a slightly different configuration. But Haley actually doesn't offer this rig in this color. This one is actually made by TMC, clone company out in China. I decided to pick one up to see how it compares to an original one. So a couple of notes, a couple of differences you'll notice right off the bat are um, for anyone that's not familiar with these rigs, we'll just do a super fast overview, which are uh, pouch configurations. The light, obviously, um, your mag pouches are going to hold smaller mags. I have fit uh, my M14 mags into these pouches before and probably stretched them out and damaged them, but I didn't care at the time. Uh, they're very snug. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, these obviously slip right in and out. We were trying that before. Uh, you have some GP pouches, small ones here. Um, your stretch pouch, two pistol pouches on the H. On the H, it's got four across the top, like Joe says. They're designed for 7.62 mags, like the Scar Heavy or the M14 mags. It has a GP pouch located right here that's secured with zippers instead of a Velcro flap, like on the original one. It's also a very large admin style pouch that when you unzip it as well, it features a plastic uh, inside section that you could throw a map or something like that inside of it. Now the TMC copy, is this the same as the real one? Yeah. Okay, so that's a one-to-one -one copy on mm -hmm. these. It's also got some elastic for securing some additional items inside as well. Uh, it also sports two similarly sized multi-mission pouches, but uh, the reason I purchased this is I was curious to see how a replica would stand up against some real hard use. There is a significant price difference between the two of these. What did you pay for yours originally? Uh, about 180, give or take, before yeah. shipping. I managed to pick this one up for a little bit less than that. This uh, D3CRX down here, this was, I purchased it at full price, brand new. The TMC clone is only 46 to $50. It's really, really inexpensive in comparison. But I wanted to have all three different types of rigs in the same color, this being Ranger Green. And the only way to really do that right now is to get a clone. So it gave me an opportunity to check out the clone. So I've had some not so positive experiences with some of the, um, let's call them budget uh, chess rigs as well as uh, play carries in the past. Um, so I'm always trying to go for the real deal when I can afford it. Um, however, Airsoft is 95% looking cool, 5% functionality. So Garrett wants it in Ranger Green. The only way for him to do that was to get the clone of it. So uh, this might be one of those things where, uh, have you fielded this at all yet? I have not. I just picked this up last week. So this is kind of a first impressions type of video here um, today. And uh, I mean, according, according to the website and everything, this should be made out of the, the actual material of this should be the same. The only difference being the stitching you were saying, the Stitching correct? and of course the labor fact into it. China has a significantly lower labor cost compared to the United States, so that's why you're looking at a third of the cost here. So the next time you see this uh, in a video, maybe Garrett's impressions after he loads it up with a bunch of bags and takes a couple of dives, and we'll see what happens if it, if it stays on him or if it's left 20 feet behind him, you know, wearing everything in it. But so far we've been, um, you know, kind of stretching it out, comparing it to the two, and it seems to have pretty decent quality. So we're gonna see if this holds up after a couple of games uh, and if that works out. I mean, the straps are the same. Uh, the difference being between the D3CRX, the X denotes that it has a cross harness in the back. I picked this up 
you can see that it's crossing in the back here, whereas this has an H strap. Um, which one did the TMC come with? The TMC comes as the original heavy is configured with the standard H uh, configuration. Are the clips the same? You can switch them. The in clips between? are the same. They're totally interchangeable. However, there are some slight differences on the clone versus an authentic one. Uh, big thing that I noticed as soon as I picked it out are the buckles. This is probably a really minor thing, but the color is actually incorrect. These have a like forest green type color to them, whereas the D3CR uh, rigs, as they come from Haley in the Ranger green color, come with coyote buckles. Another thing I noticed were the uh, bungee poles at the top. These ones are black on the clone whereas they're actually matching Ranger Green on the authentic red. And from here, I don't know if you can see it in the video or not, those actually look like pleather, some sort of like fake material. Yeah, some type of pleather and the stitching's definitely rough. The cuts are definitely rough as well. Uh, additionally, I noticed in the back, you can kind of see it and I'll actually tear this off. So you can see this is one large hook surface. On the TMC, it's three smaller pieces. And I can kind of understand that. Uh, that would be a very expensive piece to purchase, and getting these would be relatively inexpensive. But even the piece that goes over the top whenever you're not using the Velcro, it's actually made of two pieces as well. It's got a seam right there, and it's just all one piece in the back. But as far as everything else, it's all 500 denier Cordura. It feels pretty good. The zipper pulls are slightly different. I think that they have a heat shrink over the end to kind of prevent them from untying themselves. It's fairly obvious in certain spots where they did cut costs in order to drop it from $180 to $50. You know, that's that's the interesting thing is, uh, you know, having, having bought in the past mm, less than expensive, maybe sort of, let's call it replica versions of things where you hold it and you're like, okay, this is a replica. This is actually a pretty good copy so far. Uh, and I think that was kind of one of those, like it was a bit of a risk buying thing, but now that it's in Garrett's hands and, and the rest of us have been kind of, you know, comparing it to what we've got, seems to be a pretty good investment so far. Yeah, I mean, it it fits the flat packs. Uh, all the buckles are one inch ITW buckles as they are on the original one. Uh, all the Velcro seems to be good. The stitching seems okay. Question as to whether it's gonna hold up or not. That's the thing that was worrying me, um, is the, <laughs> the stitching on this looks like it was, uh, I'm not sure how Haley Strategic actually does their stitching, but this was probably done on a hand machine, as opposed to, you know, probably a more mass producing sewing machine where they're able to pump it out a little bit easier. So this was literally somebody sitting in here doing this, which I'm not sure if they do on these. And the only thing I'm worried about is if Garrett's in a rough situation where he's like, oh, I need a mag right now and goes to yank on a mag or if you're, you know, getting stuck on things out in the woods, that kind of thing, or if you're in a indoor CQB range where you've got cement and you're lying prone or dragging this thing along, how long is that section going to hold up, which is going to be something we'll see in a few weeks or months. Uh, something else to note too, the end of the bungees is already kind of frayed-ish and some of the stitching does have frays on the end. Haley actually melts the end and in order to prevent that from happening. Just some couple of minor details. They do fit the mag inserts. They fit the mag inserts from TMC, which I'm also testing as well. Um, we'll try out the official Haley strategic ones to see what the fit's like on them. But so far, um, the thing that I definitely like about the TMC version is the variety that's available. Even in the heavy configuration, there's a much wider color suite available to you uh, compared to what Haley's offering. I believe the original D3H is only coming in Multicam and Coyote Brown, yep. whereas TMC is offering, obviously, Ranger Green, Olive Drab, which Haley doesn't offer at all in any of their rigs. Um, in addition, TMC also has replicas of the original style D3. They call it the D-Mitsu. I think it's M-I-T-T-S-U. Uh, Creative liberties with the replicas. Yeah. So far, it doesn't seem to be that bad. At the same time, it's $50. It'd be worth a shot, I think, to give it a try. If it doesn't work out for you, the Haley stuff still floats around. I find the original ones, if you like having this stuff at pouch, you can have them for about $150 used. Uh, the D3CRX is kind of their new model right now, and these are still readily available.
Yeah. Uh, and right now, for the record, uh, if you pick up one of the D3s, or um, I guess it might be the heavies too, it's only going to come with the H harness. Uh, and they are, yeah, the X harness, excuse me, the, uh, the X harness. Um, you can buy those. If you already have a D3, you can buy those. If you really like the X harness, you can probably pick up one of these and then just buy the harness off of uh, Kaylee's website and just hopefully swap them out with no issue. Again, quality on the buckles. We'll see what happens if it is, you know, consistent between everything. But yeah, honestly, it's for, for 50 bucks. If you know you're not going to be beating the heck out of everything and you're, you're not too worried about that, um, this thing looks like it's going to hold up really well. Um, Garrett, Garrett tends to uh, play a little differently than I would, so that's the other thing to remember is if you're going to be buying the difference between the real and the, the um, replicas, is you play really hard, <laughs> I'd be a little worried about that stitching. Um, if you're using this as part of a larger kit, uh, you know, over a longer period of time, it may actually work out that you're saving yourself a ton of money you can use for other accessories. I'm putting together a 7.62 DMR style rifle here fairly shortly. Uh, probably in the next year, I'll have plenty of opportunity to, to uh, run this as well. Um, I'll report back as soon as I know, but initial quality wise, it's not bad. The price definitely reflects what you're going to get, but at the same time, I think the variety that TMC is offering makes it worth it to check out. All right, that's it for this video, guys. I'm Garrett from Gun Gamers. And I'm Joe. We'll see you next time.